Hey guys, today we get to talk about a very good card and it didn't always used to be that way. You could have got for 92 cents about four years ago. Now it is a $6 plus card. I am talking about one of the cards that has spiked due to commanders, in particular Brea. This card is very, very good for artifacts. Uh, you pay free double white and then you can tap it, you can sacrifice it, destroy all permanents except for artifacts and lands. Play the ability only during your upkeep. So obviously if you are a artifact heavy deck and that's all you have, this makes a lot of sense because at the, at the very end of the day, you just wipe out everyone's creatures, everyone's enchantments, maybe planeswalkers if they have them, and you get to keep most of your stuff for five. So it's a wrath effect, which at five is already playable in ED8, but with tremendous upside in the correct deck. A lot of times when you look at cards like this, it takes a new commander, it takes a new card to make it go up in price. But you know it's there, you know it's possible, you know it's probable that a heavy ED8 deck, and not only, it has to be in the right colors, right? You need that commander to also be white. If the commander is not white, you can't even play this card in that deck. So when you have cards like this, I always say, no, a dollar card, what do you, what are you really gonna get for it? Bulk price of 15 cents or maybe 10 cents. I'd much rather keep the card, even if it has any potential, than sell it for 10 cents. Because at the end of the day, you have to sell about 600 of these to make up it buying one of them. And I actually need one of them, and I'm sure many players with that deck need one. So the worst case scenario is you sold it for 10 cents and then you had to rebuy it for $6. It feels bad. In my opinion, especially for bulk cards, that's where a lot of cards can spike is when they initially 10, 15 cents is what a store will pay you for them. Uh, and now that does not include shipping. You still have to ship it to them or physically go to a GP, pay for parking. That's kind of annoying. Just keep them. Just keep these cards, these $1 cards that are very difficult to get rid of because one day they can be $6 cards. And then when they are a $6 card, you can trade them quite well into whatever you need because people are looking for them. When a card goes up in price, that means there's a increased demand, assuming it's not a buyout. And the increased demand means you should be able to trade it a lot easier. So a card that stays at $6, kind of difficult to trade, a card that goes up to $6 from a dollar and from real demand, which this card, I mean, you can leave a comment. Do you feel like this is real demand? I feel like it is. That card will be very easy to trade because everyone's looking for it, right? By definition, people are trying to buy it online and try, and that's why it's $6 now. Anyway, great card. I do love it. And leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.